All right, so welcome back to the channel, and today we're taking a look at the reverb side of the Collider pedal. So the last video I did, the, um, in the previous video I did the delay side. This time I'm gonna do the reverb and then a little bit of combination at the end, but long story short, looking for a delay and reverb pedal was originally looking separate, and then I realized there's a couple of dual delay reverbs and budgetary reasons uh, I went that way, and I actually have no regrets, I'm glad I did. It's very versatile and it allows you to adjust things on the fly. It also has an app that's included in the PC software that you can do even more settings, but the majority of the settings you can access via um, some key, pan, uh, key commands on the hardware, which I really like, so you, they don't force you to have to use the app if you don't want to. Now, with that being said, uh, let's just kind of go through. We have room, hall, true spring, plate, shimmer, e-dome, and swell. So it covers all the fundamental stuff that you're gonna need. That was what, two, four, six, seven different reverb algorithms. So everything from basic rim all the way to your ambience, uh, back to like plates and swells or in the spring. So I don't see myself needing another reverb pedal. This does everything that I need it to. You have the ability to say presets up to eight via onboard and then or up to eight via like uh, accessible via the select button. And then you also have 128 total via MIDI. So lots of options, no complaints. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Um, we have the knob here. So if we go delay or reverb, we can control which side we want to control. And then for the knobs here, we can control things like the pre-delay, the decay, uh, the tone, which is, you know, if you want it to be bright or dark. And then the controls uh, do like the modulations. So if you want like diffusion and how much, uh, and then some of them like modulations, whatnot. So uh, the, there's a sheet that comes with it that tells you which parameters which, but all in all, very straightforward, very simple. And I actually like the fact that there's not a lot of options because it just gives you what you need and you get a great tone out of it straight away. So let's go ahead and just crank it to the rim and let's just get a simple sound. There's a the rim sound, kind of dial back the mix. sound here is the hall this is also what I played in the beginning the hall sound of course you combine that with your pedal for the swells So, sounds really good. I love this. Sounds great. Um, and of course, if you want to crank on like an overdrive and have like a solo tone. You know. Now, of course, I probably wouldn't have the mix turned up all the way like that. But. Really digging that sound. Uh, let's go to the true spring. Now, I really don't play anything that would put this justice. So I apologize in advance.
that's the spring. And then we have the plate sound. Let's crank that up real quick. Okay. Don't get the feedback. Whoops. Let's crank the delay feedback on that one. So really cool sound, um, and then we have the shimmer. Uh, let's go on with the shimmer here. I gotta be honest, I actually don't use shimmers that much. They're not my favorite, uh, but it's on here if you need it. And then the controls allow you to change things like the, um, the tone of the of the shimmer and like the pitch and whatnot of the shimmer. So all that's in there. You see that? So I can change. Which one is it? Is it control one? Yeah. So control one allows you to change the volume of the of the shimmer. And then control two, I think, allows you to change the octave. Control two down. So as you can see, you can control the shimmer sound, adjust it to your liking. And then we have E dome. E dome is like your super atmospheric reverb, super long. Uh, we can crank that for sure. And of course we can edit those parameters too, but that's just to kind of give you an idea. And then we have the swell setting. So it just has an automatic swell built into it. So it's really nice if you don't have a an expression pedal on your board. That's cool that they have that there. Um, but those are the seven different reverbs. Uh, I like to use room and hall the most, actually. Um, I find hall is really good for ambient, too. But if you want, like, the super spacey, go E-Dome. Um, shimmer, I don't use it too much. But, I mean, basically everything but shimmer <laughs> I find useful on this one. But that's because I don't like shimmers in general. Um, but then the fact that you can combine it with the delay is what makes it so amazing. So just instantly... Uh, let me take this to E dome and then let's go. So like I was saying before, we're able to combine it together and we can combine it in parallel, which is the mode I have it in right now. And that allows for my delays to really be clear while also still having good reverb sound. So. So that's the reverb side in that show, a little bit combination delay at the end. 
And then it does also give you the ability to run um, double delays and double reverb. So if you want to have an actual true separate algorithm for the stereo delay, you can do that. Or if you want to have two different reverbs, you can do that as well. So um, it's a very versatile pedal. I highly recommend it, like I said, in the delay review. Um, I'm really glad I got it. No regrets. Glad that I took a chance on it and stumbled upon it. Um, and it worked out that I didn't have the budget to do two separate pedals. I prefer this, space saving. Anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.